Hey, welcome back. In this video, we'll create multi-step form without writing any JavaScript. Is that sound cool? So let's begin. We'll use Laravel Livewire for that and it will handle everything. So if you are new to this Livewire, you can learn this on one video. So I've created this video, learn Livewire building shopping cart. You can watch this video. It will give you a quick start with it and you'll be able to create quite functional components using Livewire. All right, so first off, uh, I have simple Laravel project with simple form, user details form. Suppose we have three fields and you want to convert this form into a single field form, like you want to show only one fields at a time and whenever user go next, you'll save that and display another and so on. So you might have seen multi-step form in many places. All right, so first off, uh, just install Livewire. So I'm here in code. What I've done is I have installed Livewire using composer command and just go through uh, all installation steps. There are not many, just go to quick start. Just do this and put these two into your head files. So I've done composer require and after composer require is done, just go to your layout files, in my case app.layout and I have put this line of code to pull in Livewire styles. And just before body tag, I have put this scripts. That's it. And next I have create I have run that command to create Livewire component. So Livewire offers offer us command PHP artisan artisan make live wire and I will call it multi form and hit enter and it will generate two files. So I've already done that. So it will uh, generate two files one inside live wire folder multi form and another uh, you can see that inside app components just search for multi form. So it will be inside app HTTP live wire. So first let's go to the blade file. So in your case, this blade file will be empty. So I put some code here, just S3 tag, basically simple bootstrap form like this. So bootstrap input and all this. Okay, so this is just to display the message and name field, email, favorite color field and Thank you message. For now you can ignore this step. And in order to submit in Livewire, we use this. So again, if you are new, just watch that video about introduction and then you can follow this video. If you don't understand what this is, uh, if you just go through documentation, you'll get just a way to uh, submit the form. So this is just to display the error message for individual fields. Okay, so that's it with uh, the HTML part and we just have two function, two, two buttons, one to uh, take us to next step and another to take us back. That's it. All right, so ne next let's go to the app HTTP Livewire Multiform. So this file will uh, be responsible for performing all the actions so the basic idea here is we'll just show each fields in one step. So you can show multiple fields according to your need. So I will create a steps variable and whenever step is one, I will just display name. Whenever two, just email and so on. All right, so that's all about this form HTML. Let's go. Uh, go to the multiform.php which is inside http livewire multiform.php so this uh, this component is controlled by this class so all the data from this input field will be stored inside these name email and color and one other variable we have defined is step to track uh, on which step we are so according to step variable we'll define uh, will only show particular input field for now you can ignore all this. So mount in mount method we have defined we have initialized step equals to zero. Now let's go back to multiform and now let's uncomment this code. 
so if step is zero will only display this so we wrap this inside and if so if step is one then only we show email field if step is two then we'll display color so if you want to display name and email on first uh, initial step just put this inside this if all right so i'll just format the code okay similarly uh, like this if step is two so like this so we start from zero one two and if step is greater than two then we display this card saying the thank you so step is two meaning we have done with all our input field and then we we can show thank you message so similarly if step is less than or equals to two then we'll display next button so suppose uh, if uh, we hit here we do we fill up this color field and hit next then step will be three so we are increasing step on backend i will show that in a moment so we'll increase step uh, one step at a time so after we fill the first field we'll increase the step after that is successfully all right so when i refresh we can only see name field so after we successfully um after we successfully save this name field then only we'll increase the step and it will automatically show the next field all right so now let's go back to multiform.psv and here we are increasing step like this and we are decreasing steps by using this method so we are calling this decrease step uh, here in back button so we don't need this increase step and the main function is this submit function we need to understand that because whenever we hit next it is submitting this whole form this whole form is getting submitted this submit um, function is called whenever we hit next all right so uh, next button will just hit this method and here we are doing some logic so what i'm doing is according to step number i want to call these methods so these methods are responsible for submitting the individual input field suppose in step one we want to save name field so i'm just handling that that logic in this method so according to your use case if in step one you are saving multiple fields like name and email in step one then you can do this here and similarly for step two i'm doing email field validation for email field and then updating the email field because in step one we are already creating that so similarly in step three i'm doing validation for color field and then saving it and then making uh, the flash message and then increasing the step so increasing step in each steps all right so whenever we hit submit uh, this step actions is defined here so step actions are uh, is just an array of uh, the action that will be performed so in first step we will call this method which we have defined it so this will correspond to first step action and second step will perform this action in third step we will perform this action so this action will just save the name field so we are doing validation required name field is required and minimum of four is required so we are also defining here this customer so by default this customer will be null so we are checking here so if this customer got value then what we are doing is we are updating the customer if customer is not present then we are creating new customer so by the way i have this customer model and customer uh, table all right so let me show you customers table so i have this customer table with name email color these three fields so by the way i made uh, this email and color nullable because we are saving in easy step so if you try to save only name then it will throw error email is cannot be null 
So in first step, we are just saving name. So if email is not nullable, it will throw error. So you can do some trick if you don't want to make that field nullable. By default, you can put some email, dummy email, and then later on you can update that. And there can be trick like that. Or there is another option. You can just save uh, all required data on step one, nullable on second step. And that's up to you. So this tab function will just get us the model instance that we can we are saving in customer here so that we can use that customer on later steps. All right, so this is how we do multi-step form. Let's uh, get a final run with it. So I will save this user, webdevmatics. And whenever I hit save, it is submitting and only performing submit one action whether to create or update next customer created and if you go back you can update this also updematics updated next if i try to submit without writing this there is validation message and whenever i hit next it will save that and whenever i uh, fill in color red so there is a cool feature which in submit three yeah here so i'm just showing a message by pulling in the customer so that i can show wow this color is nice color and the name of customer as well like this red wow red is nice color web thematics updated so yeah from here you can go home and if you see in database there should be this web dematics updated with all data. All right, so I will see you on next video. Bye.